<laughs> hey, welcome to the Vacuum Form channel. About a year ago, Kevin Brown from Junkyard Digs introduced you to our vacuum formers here at OAM. We put a hubcap in there. You guys loved it. He asked you if you wanted to see a channel all about that. And today we're launching that. So we've got a little bit of stuff over here we're going to do our first couple of episodes with. We've got squishy balls. We've got light bulbs. We've got marshmallows, cups, toilet paper, fans, things you can't say on the internet. <laughs> and uh, we're going to put a bunch of stuff in a vacuum former and see what the heck happens. Now, we love your feedback. If you have any ideas for other stuff, we're open to that too. But uh, welcome to the channel. Let's start with these. They're colorful. They're squishy. And uh, and they're balls. They're balls. Yeah, let's do it. So we're going to start out on our, uh, we call this this 2x4 machine. It's about a 2 foot by 4 foot surface area that we can form on. This is a uh, Bellavac machine. We actually purchased this. We've done some modifications, so we have a lot more air volume down here. We can pull about 26 or 27 um, inches of mercury, which is what, about 13 pounds 13, per square 13 inch of 13 force. 13.2 pounds. So. so it's a pretty good crush factor. 13 pounds in every inch. It's right. It's the smash o -matic. Yes, yes. <laughs> um, we can control our heat, our vacuum. We got the rocket cam set up. And we're going to put these babies on there and see if we can get our first pull. Just toss those in there. Yeah, sure. Can you juggle? No. You should try. I should try. Hey, That's that all was, I got. That was better than I could <laughs> ever know. All right, we'll get the barcodes out of there. We don't want to see that. Those are gonna go flying, aren't they? They probably are. You wanna do a test? Test so they don't yeah. go anywhere. All right, we'll try to go up half speed. Uh, that should work. We might get lucky. So we are going to use a sheet of 8th inch clear acrylic. Uh, it's a plastic that works pretty well for thermal forming. It's not super strong like ABS out in, the, out in the wild. It's a little bit more brittle. But for something like this, it works perfectly because it's basically clear. You can see all the stuff that's inside of it while it's crushing. It's perfect for a channel like this. And uh, we're going to be going back and forth between that and the black ABS, depending on what we've got in here. But we're going to start with the clear stuff because it just looks so cool when you can see everything crushed on the inside. So that's like some those... uh, SMR stuff was... right there. Yeah, this is some ASMR. Yeah. Let's get some really... Really I must say your methods of removal are not very relaxing. <laughs> I know. They're a little jarring, honestly. <laughs> I feel stressed. <laughs> we can do it a little smoother on this side. Maybe. Okay, things we're good at, vacuum forming, <laughs> things we're bad at, ASMR. <laughs> We're just going to place it right in here. We added this weather strip going around here to get a little extra bite on the plastic so it doesn't want to pull out. It does a pretty good job of holding it in place. When you supercharge your vacuum former, you gotta you got to kind of step up everything behind it too. <laughs> you do actually. And we ended up, we clamp it down too because these little clamps don't hold very well for the stuff we're doing. So just to put things into perspective, usually these vacuum formers run off one charge tank full of vacuum. Our small one runs four. <laughs> How many does the big one run? Six? We've got valves on there so we can turn those inner two on and off. Yeah, we've got some power here. Okay, so we're going to film the whole process uh, on this first one. 
we're going to pull the heating elements forward, turn them on. It's about two or three minutes to get it up to temperature. Uh, we've got a gun here somewhere. We'll check the surface temp and make sure we're right where we need to be. Uh, what are we then, shooting for today? We'll probably go to about 300. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. That's usually warm enough that we don't have too much resistance, but not so warm that it gets super thin and we have any worries about blowouts. So yeah, we're shooting 300 Fahrenheit. We could like make cookies on this. We're making cookies one of these days. We'll do that for sure. All righty, let's get her heated up. Heat on. Valves are closed. Vacuum on. It's kind of cool. You can tell a little bit more with the uh, black plastic. It might not show up with the clear, but when the plastic reaches its glass transition temperature, it does this really cool thing where it gets really wrinkly, and then all of a sudden it gets smooth again and starts to sag. So you can almost tell just by the shape of the plastic when you're at the right temperature, but we use the heat gun just to make sure we're dialing it in every time. Oh yeah, we're getting close. You can see how distorted the reflection is right now. There's all these big waves. It's about to smooth out. We can probably go. Let's try it. Look, it's melting onto the other one. Oh yeah. That's sweet. Look at that. It pulled the balloon or the balloon. Look, yeah, look, it melted all the uh, all the bits. We'll cool it off a little. Keep it now. You see, it kind of releases a little bit. That thing's coming back. This Let's one, sh this is expanded uh, polyethylene, I believe. Okay. So that one should. Oh, look at that! It's like oh, releasing it's like some into it. Should we let it down and see what happens? Yeah, that'll be cool to see in the slow mo. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> they stayed in there. Hey, this one survived. It's still a little warm, but yeah, good as new. These, on the other hand, not good as new. Whoa! Gone. Well, <laughs> nothing left for that. This one might. This one might survive. Oh! Is he still good? That one's still good, and look, it left the white paint in there. Look how cool Whoa. that is! That's awesome! <laughs> look at this. That's strange. Yeah, this one's hot. It's like, oh wow, that is hot. It's like peeling off. It's all floppy. Oh man, that's hot. <laughs> that's disturbing looking. <laughs> oh! Mm, that's hot. Wow. <laughs> Let's just let her sit. <laughs> I don't think there's any sitting on your head. One. Yeah. That's, I might, it might be stuck on there forever. <laughs> you make hats. You look great. <laughs> we make hats. That's weird. Between the vacuum force and the heat, we can obliterate things. So yeah, what do you guys want to see us crush next? These didn't really change at all. They didn't. You can see the uh, the seam line and every little imperfection from the ball. This one's cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Every little dimple is in there, and it kept the paint. It, oh, dude, it got the words on the back. Did it really? No freaking way. <laughs> that's too cool. All right, we'll pull this out of here. What have we made today? That is oh, baby. modern contemporary art. Look at that. You can hang that on your it, wall. I call it balls. <laughs> That would be pretty cool in a frame, actually. Dude, that is so neat. That is crazy. I love how the rainbow and all the... Everything left a little bit of color. 
That's really cool. It like printed into it. Yeah, that's the thing. It's it's I mean it's hard now. There's no we could eat soup out of this. Yeah. Alrighty, so that is it for episode one of the Vacuum Form channel. We'd love to get your feedback in the comments of other stuff that you'd like to see crushed in this industrial thermal former. And uh, make sure you like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.